Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at something like what's on the horizon for you and I thought we could look a few months into the future. So even if you watch this a few months from now or a year from now or whatever it is, just take a look a few months ahead. That's what well, that's what I think we're going to do in this reading. I don't know. It could be something different. So feel free, as always, to choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. And before I shuffle these, I thought we could take a couple of oracle cards first. And I won't be drawing quite as many cards as I did last time. Gosh, these are tricky to shuffle. Okay, that one's really sticking out, so we'll take it. Yeah, last time I did so many cards for group one, we went quite long, but this week I'll be more disciplined. We're gonna have just a more standard number of cards. See what comes. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I hope you're having a good week. My week has been pretty busy and I'm just, I've come into today, today is Thursday and I am super exhausted, I'm really tired, it's amazing. <laughs> this energy, this week has just taken all the energy out from me, I think it was the um, full moon that we just had, I had a bit of a, a migraine headache which I haven't had for a while. So that was kind of interesting. Okay, let's take three from here. So yeah, and there was another tarot reader that I watch regularly and she, let's see, we'll take that, that, and that. Yeah, what was she saying? She was also really exhausted by this full moon. So I wasn't the only one. I'm gonna have to look up the astrology again and just see what was going on there because yeah there was some intense energy okay and I'll take three of these now this I wasn't actually going to use this one today I was going to use a very different um, I was going to use the golden Botticelli deck but then something told me nope get rid of that one bring this one out and I'm like okay so that was interesting. I haven't used this for a very long time. So we're going to take a look a few months into the future and I was kind of thinking about the start of next year when we have the shift, the big shift, which is Saturn in Aquarius. Okay, is that just one? Yes, these are quite thick, that's good. I haven't used these for so long. They're really lovely. They're glossy as well. They're quite slippery. Printed really nicely. Okay, two and let's get a third one. Let's see what's going on. Okay, great. We've got all our cards. Let's see what's going on. We'll start with this and I'll just get the guidebook ready because I do like to look this one up. It's the Flower Oracle. Oh, how beautiful. Look at the colors. Isn't this incredible? Sunflower, hope. Wow. That is glorious. Oh my goodness. I've never drawn this card. That's stunning. Let's take a look. Wow, what a beginning. Okay, so sunflower, hope. I love it. Um, what do I look up here? I suppose it's sunflower, yeah. Hope. Always keep your face to the sun and you will see joy and experience resilience. You are a role model to others, tenacity. Yes, yes, yes. Good, excellent. All right, we'll see what's in here. Ooh, like it. Wizard of Awareness. This is great. Number three. Yes, all right. Good energy here, group one. This is awesome. Okay, let's have a look. We've got that renewal. Wow. I think you've been working hard on yourself, haven't you? You have been doing a lot 
of great spiritual work. And I think, you know, I was saying that this is to do with a few months from now. If you're not feeling this energy now, it's okay. This is, this is what's coming for you. This is what's coming in a few months' time. Your spiritual work, all the work that you're doing, is going to pay off with what looks to me like the beginning of a new cycle. This is incredible. Incredible energy on the table. Temperance, healing, yes, you're doing the healing work. I think you're doing a lot of that now. Good, you're doing great, group number one. This is excellent. All right, what do we have here? Ten of Wands, yeah. You, you've been carrying a heavy burden. Group number one, you've been getting this card a lot. I think you got this last time as well. But imagine, like, you're probably on the brink of breaking heavy old stuff that could be decades old. You know, it could be from past lifetimes. Dr. David Hawkins explains that some of the stuff that we're dealing with is thousands of years old. It's ancestral. It's, it's tough stuff. Seven of Cups. Exactly. You're going to have... The work that you're doing now is going to open up more and more choices. You see, this is, this is so good. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's keep going here. Let's see what all of these are. Two of Pentacles, okay. You've been juggling. And I do think that this is, here with Temperance, the Two of Pentacles and Temperance, this is showing more so than now, what you've been doing now. You've been juggling a lot. You've been... And it's this kind of back and forth energy. It's, and you're possibly in a bit of a loop here. But this will release, this will break. And we're looking at just a few months now. And if this is stuff that you've been working on for a very long time, which it is, Ten of Wands, a few months is nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's see what we've got here. High Priestess. Yes. And this is matching up here with the Ten of Wands. So this for me is showing the nature of the work you have been doing has been hidden. It's behind the scenes. Your angelic team is probably working quite hard behind the scenes as well with you. doing a huge amount of work and you're doing amazingly well group number one I'm so happy all right let's see this yeah the devil look at that so I think some of the work that you've been doing is breaking free of addiction breaking free of the world so that you can be in the world and not of the world right and and this will this is all this work that you're doing is going to release you so that and i'm going to take this as devil capricorn the job your work where you are what you do you'll be able to do what you do out there in the world but not be attached to the outcome yes that's what and you're not chasing an outcome okay so all the work that you're doing you are this wizard of awareness. You, you're coming into the light, okay, massively. You're breaking free of some, some kind of cycle, some kind of chain, some kind of tie. This is deep, deep, deep inner work. This is not something that anyone knows about or can see. When you release from this, and we're, we're just looking at a few months from now, so many options will be available to you. So many exciting new possibilities of things that you'll be able to do, right? That's not quite here right now. Now you are doing the healing work. You are in a bit of a loop, okay? You kind of, you, you know, you don't, you don't have that break free just yet. But I can tell you with so much confidence, it's, you're on the brink of it. And you are... It's this, I love this, the Wizard of Awareness is so fantastic. You are this incredibly wise being. And you could be in your 20s, in your 30s, you could be really young, but this, you have this within, okay? You are this wise, you are this knowledgeable. 
Oh, amazing. And the renewal that you're going to experience. You're going to be living more out of, and you could say this as being, you're living more out of your higher self than ever before. That will be the case. That's coming now. Great. Wow. Well, group number one, I was hoping for a swifter, more clearer read here, and we've got one because last time there was a lot, there was a lot of energy. Uh, we drew a lot of cards and it was, I think you were knee deep in some things last week probably, but let's have a look here, Sunflower Hope. I mean, this is just stunning. Just a few months away, you're gonna be released into an entirely brand new, brand new cycle. So hang in there. Hope is a good word. I know I've had difficulty with the word hope uh, in my life because because I suppose I always think, well, but my now is not that, you know. But hope is a bit of a futuristic word. This is a hang in there type word. You're on the brink of something really big long-lasting, huge, wonderful. I'm getting the words, everything you've worked for. Incredible reading, absolutely incredible reading. We can, why don't we, I was just thinking, we can draw, a, let's just get a clarification on, on the devil here. Let's just see, have I interpreted that one correctly with the devil? Let's just see what comes, devil energy. Ace of Swords, yeah, okay, this is the mind. This is that strong mind, and I think you got this last time, group number one. If I remember correctly, I can't quite remember, I might look it up, but um, you're gonna be breaking free of ego, the mind, perhaps certain ways of being that, that hold you back. You can, you can possibly give up any self-saboteur, any sabotage that you do. You're probably on the brink of giving that up. It feels like you're just getting ready to enjoy, to love, to have fun, you know? And to put the burdens down. You've been carrying a lot. It's been heavy. Carrying a lot. This is superb energy here. And look, you'll be free to use your mind. You'll be free to use your mind because the sword, you know, with a knife, they say you can either kill someone or you can cut up uh, vegetables and make a beautiful dish. You know, you could be a great chef. Chefs use knives all the time, right? So it's like you'll be free to use your sword, your mind, which is very sharp, as a tool to, to be creative, to create beautiful and wonderful things that people are just going to absolutely love. Terrific energy. I'm just so, wow, this is great. Let's see what comes in here. This is interesting. All right, we'll take a couple of these. I have no idea what, what's in any of these because I wrote them like, a, oh, maybe more than a month ago. I don't know, a long time ago. This is lovely. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Yeah, I love this. And we've got the sun here, which is Leo, which is children, inner child, play, fun, games, right? This is all here. We've got that as the lead oracle card here. And then have a look at this. We've got you, you know, the gray hair version of you, which even if you're in your 20s, this exists, right? <laughs> You are this, you've got some past wisdom. Your Ketu position is kind of like this, okay? So wherever Ketu is in your birth chart, you know, you are wise and senior and knowledgeable in that area. So you've got both the inner child and this incredibly wise version of you. I can't wait to get to this, like where all my hair's totally white and I've got plans. I've got plans for, it's my Mercury Mahadasha and I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna be like a big kid, I just know it. People have this thing about, yeah, growing old and oh, you know, 
you grow old and it's boring or whatever. No, not at all. I just, I'm excited to get old, you know. I think it's great. And I, I'm, that's why I'm such a fan of Karl Lagerfeld and his white hair. And he just used to draw all day, every day. And I think that's great. And he used to play. He was fun. He was funny. So, yeah. There's no... Once you've... And I think you're on the very brink of just conquering some old stuff, clearing it out. You're just going to be this joyous being. And you're just going to be having fun all the time. That's what I'm seeing here. Amazing. Amazing energy group one. This is so good. All right, let's put that back there. I'm not after the money. I'm after the freedom that comes with having money. Two very different goals. Absolutely. And I think you're probably, you're working hard, you know, you're doing maybe the corporate thing or you're busy in your work and you're earning money. Of course, look, we all have to do that. And, you know, that's here, that's Capricorn, that's the 10th house of achievement, that's, and our jobs very often, they can feel like a bit of a, a trap or, you know, oh gosh, I have to go there. But you see, when you do the spiritual work, you can be anywhere and be joyous. You could even be stuck in a prison, and, but you're free inside, you're free within. You're free to be happy. It's like the whole Nelson Mandela thing. You know, he's, he found his freedom within. He, he found that nothing could touch him. Amazing. All right, let's take one more. And then I'll wrap up. Oh, we're at the 16 minute mark. All right, let's see. Let's see. One last one. One for the road. Come on, what have we got here? Oh, fantastic. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. Yes. You're working hard in silence right now. Okay, and you are. We've got the high priestess here. We've got the ten of wands. You're doing a huge amount of work. This is all behind the scenes. Probably nobody knows. But you're doing it, and you're doing amazing. You're doing amazing. So group number one, that is your reading for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Now, before I shuffle these, we're going to take one of these beautiful oracle cards. These are hard to shuffle. Gosh, I'm just realizing like my whole hand span here or whatever you call that, it's like I can barely grip onto these cards. Okay, let's see. Oh, ah, that one wants to be here. All right. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Group number two. Last time it was quite a big reading, wasn't it? I'm just remembering. That was some big energy. And thank you to those of you who wrote in the comments below and let me know, yep, that was me. And it's like, wow, that was incredible. That was very relevant uh, for some of you there. That was, that was big energy. All right, let's see what you've got. So now we're going to, we're shuffling for, you know, what's, what's on the horizon? What's coming? What are you working towards? What is going on for you? And we just had a terrific session there with group one. So if you're in need of a pick-me-up, you can definitely check out one as well. But we'll see what's going on here with you, group two. I know some people, they just like to choose their regular group and then they that's where they go. And three. Okay, and we're going to have three of these. Now, I haven't used this deck for a very long time but I was guided I was going to use the golden Botticelli deck because it's new and I really like it I love the gold foiling and there's that other one with the gold foiling that I'm loving right now but I got guided no 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 gold foiling today <laughs> oh should we take it yeah let's take it <laughs> all right let's see what's going on group number two okay Wow, King Protea, courage and transformation. Gosh, now if I'm not mistaken, this does look like, this looks very Australian. It, 
It's not a, no, it's, I don't think it's a Waratah. It does look very Aussie though. Beautiful, King Protea, wow. I hope I said that right. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, there it is, Courage and Transformation. There are more than 1,400 varieties of Protea flower as they adapt to many circumstances. Let go of limitations, many solutions. Okay, let's bear that in mind. Right, okay. So we'll see what's happening there with that. Nice, flying, look at this. All right, well, something about a few months from now, you could be absolutely flying. And we've got a king card here, like we've got a king flower. Hmm, good, this is great. I've also got a number two, this could be partnership, this could be to do with love as well. But let's see more information. All right, confusion. There we go. The moment I mention love and then boom, confusion. You could be in some confusion now. And it's really interesting. We do have this ghost-like being and he does look like a man who is has his arms around her, but she's confused. She doesn't know what's going on. Okay, this could be about love. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, Ace of Cups, this is about your love life. Wow. All right, interesting. I think we're gonna to need to look at all of these before. Okay, Three of Cups, yeah, I can see why there's some confusion here. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, and that's the lovers, right? This, this couldn't be more about love, so if, this isn't, if you weren't after a love type reading, then maybe you might want to try another group. Definitely group one is superb this time. And that one's quite a general one for, for everybody. But if you do have some, oh my gosh, three of cups again. Wow. Okay. Yeah, walk away, eight of cups. Woo, we've got cups, cups, cups. Boy, this is about love, wow. All right, Let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, okay. Well, I can see some things straight away. I, I could go very specific with this, and I, should I? I think I will. If, if this isn't you, then you don't have to take it, but I am, seeing that like there so let's say for example you're the feminine person in the relationship you are interested in someone who's really taking his time knight of pentacles okay we've also got king this king kind of archetype here but as we saw just now and look he might be in a process of transformation okay and and that, that could be taking time that could be what is taking time but you're probably not sure and you're probably not sure because now when we've got the appearance of the three of cups that can very often indicate that this person yes he likes you but he's also checking out other people at the same time there's not a clear-cut thing with him and you're confused you really don't know what's going on so that's why this, this reading is just so clear and so obvious. It's very, very precise. So I'll, I'll do it as I see it in the sort of precise way. But here we've got, you see the, the variety thing, look at that. There are more than 1400 varieties of Protea flower. Many solutions. See, we've got variety and many. We've got three of cups, three of cups. You know, and, and, and it's kind of, it feels to me like the feminine in the relationship might be very much attracted to or really likes this um, masculine who, but he is interested in a variety or many, right? There is something like this. And that's leaving you confused because you have no idea. You have no idea 
does this person is this person into me uh, right that's that's what i'm seeing here and this is why you're being given this energy of walking away i think you might have spent time with this person and when you did spend time with this person it felt like you were flying you felt fantastic i mean look at that you felt like this imagine feeling like that all the time so that would be so wonderful wouldn't it but you know when are you waiting you see this is the thing and see you're confused and i always think that if you're confused then don't go for it that's what i think i really do because when you're really in love and when someone really loves you they want you to know that like that's important to them and I think if you're in a state of confusion, you absolutely need to take a step back and don't go there, right? Go to the mountain, okay? And the mountain, yeah, there's all these, these cups of water and that would be nice, wouldn't it? All that love, wouldn't that be great? But the better choice is to go to the mountain, to do the work, to build your empire, to you know, strengthen your muscles, get strong, climb that mountain. It's harder, you'd be doing it alone, it's not as fun and I, you're not, you know, you don't have this sensation going on, I know, but like, it'll be better for you uh, is what I'm seeing. Because yeah, I was thinking about this today and I was thinking about how, like, when someone, if someone's so indecisive, is that something that you're really attracted to? You've got to think about this. Like, is that an attractive quality? You know, and I was thinking about this today and I was thinking about how I, I, I like people who are decisive. I like people who, you know, in life, they are, they make a choice and they make it clear and they, you know, that they won't keep you in a state of confusion and they're not assessing between several different people. We've got this twice from two different decks. I mean, this is just incredible. And we've got the lovers there. This is just, what a reading. Let's see, I mean, we shouldn't really use these as spy tools, but why not? <laughs> Let's see, let's see what's going on here. What do I wanna ask? Okay, what, how, we're at 10 minute mark. Um, what do I wanna ask? I wanna ask, <sighs> Do you know what? No, let's, let's, let's not spy. Let's ask, let's ask about you because I actually think this is far more interesting. Okay, so if you, okay, let's say you make the choice that you know what? I don't like to be kept in a state of confusion uh, and, and, and that's not part of my standards, you know, and I want someone who's decisive. You know, you might take 10 years, but guess what? I'm going up the mountain. I've got things to do. I, I'm more interested in this. Let's go here. So you're going to go up the mountain and you're working hard. You're building you. You're not interested in this, right? This seeming carrot that's being dangled or whatever this is. No, don't worry about that. We're going up the mountain. We're building an empire. <laughs> what have we got going on? Give some guidance of we've made the choice. We've walked away. What's going on? And this, I'm going to, I'm going to build me. I'm going to build me and you, know, you might exercise your decisiveness and your decision power, not regarding this person. Okay. I'll say it just, you can just leave it and let him work things out. Right. And he might approach you. He might not, but just leave that be. So we leave that be you're being decisive and creating your empire, right? Because you move up in life. And you'll magnetize and be around a whole new set of people. You can have a whole new realm of partner potential or whatever, you know. So maybe that's the better thing. So let's see. Okay, we're going up the mountain. What's going on? Building an empire. Building the self. Okay. I want it to be obvious. Hmm, it's like you've got a lot of work to do. Oh, beautiful. 
what is this this looks like the sun yeah 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 go up the mountain wow but do you see how much shuffling i had to do before i got there that is just sensational do this <laughs> if you're worried if you're confused <laughs> and look it, it doesn't mean like you don't need to communicate to this person you don't need to say leave them confused leave them in an ambiguous state they've put you in an ambiguous state so why don't you just leave them in some ambiguity don't tell them what's going on and you just because you're too busy now look at that you're on your way here you're going to create this you're going up the mountain gee and this can be all sorts of things this is success creativity this is this is the sun this is you know so this is just the sun but leo as well right so this is and this is you maybe you're writing books you're doing your i don't know maybe doing a tv show i don't know you're doing all kinds of things right you're going up you're this is great and there could be all kinds of new people and maybe you're gonna have options right maybe something like that good i love this so we've got great energy here and this could be a few months from now this could be you know but i did the shuffling that i was doing to get that card that could be the few months okay so you know how i said that what's on the horizon that could be your few months that we're dealing with so you're you're working you know and and that and hang on to your cup you know because you don't want to give this to just anyone right and think about the qualities that you find attractive in someone because sometimes we focus on what they're doing but we're not focused on what it is that we want and maybe what you actually want maybe you want someone who's decisive maybe you want someone who just gets it and gets you and you know gets on with it kind of thing maybe that's what you want so focus on that and you should create that kind of thing you know this has been interesting group number two we've got all the juicy interesting stuff with your group i'll go, I'll go to group three I'll, 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 usual thing i'll end up crashing there and and you know kind of, it's kind of like when i get to pisces when i do a monthly I, I just crash with the pisces people all right let's have a look at this what have we got here what does it say through selfless work love of god grows in the heart then through his grace one realizes him in course of time god can be seen one can talk to him as i am talking to you ah oh, stunning yeah ramakrishna param paramahansa yeah beautiful and this this room this brought a few things into my mind uh which it's 15 minutes i don't know if i have time for all right let's see I'll, I'll let's look at the next quote and i, w I won't go down those tangents because i've got a few things to say about that but this is god this is the sun this is infinity this is oneness this is you find that within yourself and you know then you don't need anything else you don't need a lover or a job or money or anything because you've found that bit of god within you that's the thing to go for let's have a look here pain makes you stronger tears make you braver and heartbreaks make you wiser sorry i'm just having grammatical problems here i i, I just would have written this directly from instagram but anyway <laughs> heartbreaks make you wiser so thank the past for a better future yes that's lovely absolutely group number two i was just contemplating do i take another quote but you know what i'm actually thinking i'm actually feeling peaceful with just this i'm actually feeling like because you've got the direction here you know this this one's been really clear and any pain that you feel along the way and this can be the pain of loneliness um heartbreak you know it's funny i was thinking about that song it's a gorgeous song it's by jeff buckley and it's called lover you should have come over and if you want to if you're looking for a heartbreak song that's a really good one but um 
you know, I was thinking about his voice today and I was thinking about the beauty in that song, like, the, and the beauty is actually there in his pain, you know. So part of this you walking away bit, that could be painful, that could be difficult, that could be sad, okay, and I, I understand that, but, but be you. And, and you don't know, we don't know the future, people do come back and things like that, so you don't know, so see what happens. But I am cheering you on, group number two, you're an incredible soul, you're a beautiful person, and build you, and build your empire. All right, well thank you so much for tuning in, now let me know how you got on in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. I'm behind on comments and emails at the moment, so... Um, please be patient with me but thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three then you're in the right place. Now before I shuffle these we're going to take a look here. And I was just thinking about group two I've just come out of group two if you if you were in group two and you're now hearing group three hello um, I didn't shuffle with a full deck for you actually so the cards from group one which I think were the devil the high priestess and the two of pentacles I think they were not in here when I shuffled for you I've put them all back now so we are shuffling with a full deck here in group three I'm so sorry about that but the cards that came for you were pretty amazing and it was all very specific. So let's see. Let's see what's on the horizon here for group number three. Okay, that wants to be here. Okay. That was a very interesting reading for group number two. Um, see what comes here. So I know for group, I can, I think, I might as well share if, if if this isn't for you group three and if you if you've got some love life stuff going on you might want to check out two and if you need a pick me up <laughs> you can go for one let's see what's going on here and yeah I do sometimes come to group three and I'm just like ah oh, I'm at the end well in when I do the long the monthlies <gasps> oh I shuffled this I picked this up and I left this card so you're going to get a bonus we'll take it what's all this leaving of cards thing today that doesn't normally happen um what was I saying oh yeah when I do a monthly oh my gosh I get to Pisces and yeah sometimes I apologize to them because I'm like oh I'm so exhausted now <laughs> here with you beautiful Pisces and I can relax I think group three is my very calm group as well Get, get to just chill out here. Okay. Right. Now we're going to have three of these, and this is a full deck. So, see what's going on in here. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. I hope you're having nice weather and all that. We're having beautiful spring weather. When I go out, the jasmine flowers are incredible. They're just, oh my goodness, it's out of this world. Okay, we'll take that as well. All right, let's see what's going on for you, group number three. I'm very excited. I'm going to look at what's going on ooh, in the next few months. What's on the horizon? Poppy, sleep. Wow, very beautiful card gosh all right well let's read the little guidance book for this poppy sleep whoops making a mess all right there you go um oh how nice poppy sleep you need rest take a break there we go all right group number three well hopefully you're getting some rest well maybe you're very busy let's take a look see what's going on Oh, listening, this is so beautiful. I drew this for myself the other day because this is a new deck and I'm loving it. And yes, I love this. Listening, music. Look at that. That's stunning. Wow. Okay, good. I like it. What we got here? Discovery. Wow. Do you know it's so funny because 
as I was setting up the desk today with all the decks and everything, I was thinking how I love doing these. And I was thinking about how one of the things I love about doing a tarot reading is that it's discovery. Like we're discovering things fresh and live together like because none of this is scripted this is all just on the fly and there's something beautiful about that energy of discovery like i really love it yeah all right so group three you're going to be discovering oh fantastic yes abundance it's coming in group three don't you worry just keep being positive you're working hard and look great you know things might change and you don't know where this money is going to come in from or how it's going to happen or what this is going to be. But it's coming in. It has to come to you. And it feels like whatever this is, you, you'll be able to afford to take a bit of a break. Maybe you won't have to work so hard. I think that's what this is about. Maybe you have been working really hard and you won't have to work so hard. You should be able to work smarter and not harder. Okay, something along these lines is coming in for you. All right, let's take a look at this. Page of Swords, brilliant. Okay, so maybe maybe with this extra time that you're going to have, you'll be able to start learning new things, and you'll be able to you know start adding new, more. Well, hang on, let me get this right. I was going to say more bows to your string. No, it's more strings to your bow. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. We've got this page of swords. Good, good. Okay. Like it. So, you know, you're at the beginning of some new, and this is discovery. This is learning. I think maybe there are some things that you have to learn. Maybe you'll be listening to a lot more audio books. You could be enrolling in a new degree program or, you know, and maybe you've done your bachelor's degree, but you're going to go for a master's now or something along these lines, right? Or you could be enrolling in a college or something along these lines. All right, there's going to be something that you leave behind. Okay, so, and that could be forward movement. That could be you're moving. Maybe you're going somewhere. Maybe you're relocating. Maybe, maybe you are leaving behind some baggage from the past or difficult memories or could even be old connections. You know, I kind of feel like that sometimes. Some of the friends that I have, that I've known for so long, but it's like there's just been too much change, you know, and yeah, I can't, can't maintain some of those old connections. Look at that, six of, six of Pentacles. Just as I was talking about connections that you can't maintain, and why is that? Because there really isn't any equal give and take anymore. And maybe you, you've discovered about some connections that it's just me, it's just me who's putting in the work. But you're, you're assessing, you're looking at, well... Okay, what, what, what is this connection? You know, what, what are these old friendships? Or am, am I just hanging on out of loyalty? You know, but I think you might be assessing what, what's it, what's it bringing in for me? You know, because abundance, let's not forget, is not just money. It's it's love. It's good times, creation of good memories. It's all this kind of thing as well. Okay. Knight of Swords, a lot of Swords energy. This is movement. He's quite fast. Yeah. All right. So I'm getting a vibe of movement strength. Yes. And I think this is showing you that I, I think you might be coming to a new level of strength. A few things popped into my mind here. Let's, let's park that for now. See what this is first. All right. Seven of Cups. Okay options and you know one one of the things I like about this card and, and this got me to think about um, just now how when I moved to England one of the reasons I did that I always knew from a child I knew in my heart that I'm going to move to another country I just knew it even though we're kind of immigrants here you know like my dad moved here and then I'm born and then all of a sudden I'm five years old I'm thinking well I'm going to be moving out and moving to another country so but like why why was I like that and one of the reasons I was like that I was talking to my mom about this the other day was because I wanted to create more options and I will go after one option that I know will bring me many options and there's something of that here in this card okay so and I feel like I feel like that's what you are creating for yourself you're create you're going after 
something so like I want a citizenship of that country and why do you want that because it's going to create even more options for you and I feel like there's something like this energy that you are possibly working at now you're I think you're working at that one thing that you know is going to bring you a lot of options in the future and this is something that perhaps people from your past they don't understand they don't they look at you and they think why are you doing that job it's silly but they don't realize that you're working towards something that's going to bring you down the track a lot of abundance a lot of opportunities for discovery, for travel, for moving, right? You'll be able to leave old places, old things, old connections, and all this new stuff is going to open up for you. New people, new abundance, new places to go to, new things to do. There's so much excitement here. This And there's fast paced energy and this i'm not taking as sleep because at first when i saw this i was a bit oh that that seems a bit not very exciting but get what this is this is you won't have to work so hard okay because what it is that you're creating now for yourself you're going for that one thing that's going to create many options and i'm loving it and i think it requires strength because you're probably having people around you question your judgment question your choices question your decision making think you're crazy right but you know that I hang in there for this and I'm going to have all kinds of wonderful in the future and sometimes this what you're doing it can take years to build okay and and it's, it's worth it it's worth it hang in there put the years in become strong you're doing it you're doing great okay so and this could be the kind of thing that yes it may materialize a few months from now but equally I think you're kind of on some kind of journey where we're looking at some years you know and I had a um, session with a business coach and she was telling me that some of the stuff that I'm wanting to do for the future she was saying that it's going to be amazing it's going to be great and she was saying but you're probably looking at about seven to ten years away for when you know that that kind of thing will be more of a thing and I, I'm prepared to put that in no worries you know like um, whatever it is but equally I mean there is something about you possibly turning on a dime as well uh, and that you know maybe and this is the kind of thing where maybe you're running some kind of business or something um, but then some job pops up and you're like oh well do you know what yeah I'll do it I'll do it for a couple of years or whatever it's, it can be that kind of thing as well where you you are able to on a dime change fit something in get it done but the bigger path of what it is that you're creating is ultimately going to bring you a huge amount of yes abundance but options choices ability to travel you meet new people it'll be exciting you know and lots of different types of work or things you'll be doing right this is so exciting group number three I'm absolutely loving this spread for you now let's see what we've got in here this is great energy guys I'm so impressed this set of three readings has been so lovely to do great energy all around rules for happiness why do I feel like I misspelled that I don't know this is from Instagram uh, anyway I'm having a spelling and grammatical problems with these today all right rules for happiness something to do someone to love something to hope for yes yes strength group three hang in there because probably what you're dealing with isn't around now you're possibly being judged and all kinds of things and that's fine be strong hang in there it's all gonna happen for you I can feel it it's just it what it will require and that's the thing they say it takes years <clears throat> to make an overnight success so what what are, what are you doing all those years you're being strong and you're hanging in there you're not giving up while everybody else around you thinks you're crazy right good 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 energy love it all right what do we have here okay it's a big one ironically when we start to get better 
we also often get sad because we start to realize how much we've missed out on, how badly certain people failed us, what the younger version of us actually deserved. Healing involves healthy grieving, no way around it. Yeah, and I mean, this I've, I'm relating, as, as I was reading this, I was really thinking about this here, which is this card of, of, of moving on. And, and so there is some old hurt or some emotional baggage maybe or certain things like that that you, you're just going to have to leave it in the past because where you're going that 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 old stuff doesn't kind of belong or it won't be needed or and it'll just slow you down and and, and there's no slowing you down really when it comes to where it is that you're going okay so it's interesting we've got some speed type things coming in here and I, you know, I did get a little sense of something with this quote connecting in here. I did think about that, that you sometimes we're awakening, but, and it's interesting, the power tools in the garden next door is just, they've turned it off. Yeah, I was, was going to say sometimes we're awakening, but sometimes we're switching off or we're, we're, going, we're going to sleep on certain issues. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Or we're just, yeah, kind of, I don't know, going beyond. I like this quote a lot. Oh, rules for happiness, something to do, someone to love, something to hope for. Okay, let's take one more quote. And then we're going to wrap up. Nice. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. Joseph Campbell. Yeah. You're going to need courage and you're going to need, and I feel like that's to do with your abundance. I feel like you handling vast sums of money might feel daunting or scary or what do I do or I've never done that before but Go for it, allow it, allow it in and welcome it and say that you're going to be, apologies, it just cut out. I was, I was going to say, um, say that you're going to be a great steward for the wealth that's going to come in. Trust yourself, trust yourself. And if you don't know and you don't have the skills on how to handle this or do this stuff, know that your angelic team will bring the right people in. That's part of the abundance. Okay, part of the abundance is, sure, it's, maybe the big wealth if we're looking at it in that way, but it'll also be the right people who will teach you how to look after that and manage that and deal with that, right? So group number three, I am excited for what's on the horizon for you. Keep working, you're doing an amazing job. You know, a little bit each day, the compound interest thing, right? Just, just keep chipping away. All right, thank you so much for tuning in everyone. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.